on the peoples. Hi. Hi, everybody. It's John here with Wendy and, Liz and Lizzie's outside patrolling, making sure ain't nobody coming in because yeah. we don't, we didn't invite nobody to our live. Mm. <laughs> now she said. She goes, hurry, Gary, ever come by and come dance with me. She's going to be gone for a second to get Lizzie. Her favorite song is by Clutch named Shogun named Marcus. She goes, whoop, I have a whoop, I have a double meat patty go down my belly. That's what she says. Is Lizzie single? Absolutely. She's si single and ready to mingle. You know? All right, cool. Anybody ever see the movie oh. Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore? Oh, that was a good Alice. movie. You gotta find it though. He's got ketchup on it too. Did she get it? No, I'll find it after we get done. No, she's going under the table. Isn't she? She's smelling. So we'll see if she gets it. Well, how many people have we got so far? 50. Oh, there 50. she goes. Well, I think Wendy's posted some new stuff to get, guys. You know, it's always great to watch Maury. You are not the father. I'm like, wow. We're going to get Lizzie on there, see if Mr. Pickles would come on, you know? Because Lizzie says, you got a lot of child support, dude. Yeah. Uh-huh. And she'd ask her dad, she'd say, do you like double meat patties? Do you have a sweet tooth? You know? Mr. Pickles comes out there in his little bolo hat and his glasses, you know. In the case of Lizzie, Mr. Pickles, you are the father. So, why are you always covered up with a blanket? I don't know. Usually people just, I don't know, I just, I don't know. That's a good question. I just put one on me just in case I wear shorts or something or, mm -hmm. you know. It wouldn't be the first time somebody's commented about the fact that he was wearing shorts. Yeah, there's so. just something, man. I just have one on just in case we keep everybody happy, you mm -hmm. know? And then you don't have an issue. So, there you but go. But, hey, I do appreciate the question, though. That's a good question. You got your answer. I'm, mm -hmm. It might be the answer you're looking for, but, hey, we got your answer. Yeah. Yeah. What you doing, Elizabeth? I don't know, man. I'd like a... You know, think about it. I'd like a pair of snakeskin cowboy boots, you know? Yes. So if anybody's out there and wants to give me a pair, just go buy me a pair. I think I'm a size 11. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure that will happen. And then Wendy wants some crocodile boots. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, matter of fact, I was watching that. You know those people out in Vegas that are home hunters or whatever they're called? The husband and wife team? Okay. And they went to that house with all them snakes and stuff? Uh-huh. And he got one, and he got, and at the end, he gave her a pair of snakeskin heels. Mm, okay. All right. So, we got new products. Yes. I got a few out here that I posted just today. Got the ones that I was trying to go over on Tuesday that couldn't get that done. So, I'll fetch them off the shelf, and we'll go through them again. Because we can. Mm-hmm. But we've got... Um, so we've got Victoria's Secret Pink. Uh, it's water scent and it's a body wash. Yes, and that's going to run you 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. So there you go. And all of this is located at simpletreasuresforsale.com. I'd say the link is in the bio, but I'm not on TikTok. That is correct. And so the code, I'm oh, sorry. So it's simpletreasuresforsale.com. And the discount code is still lucky, but th that's just for a couple more days. Because uh, before we know it, the first will be here. So that code does expire the 31st. Are you going to have a special code for April Fool's Day? Mm, you never know. But, um, so anyway, the code is lucky and it is free shipping off of $25. $5 purchase and that is United States only. Sorry, um, international customers will 
have to pay for shipping because it's expensive. And you know what? And we're not the only ones that say that about England. I listened to a podcast called Storytime with Dutch Mantel. Mm -hmm. And it, this co and it, this co host is an Englishman. Can you say that? Mm -hmm. He's an Englishman. And he I says, so. man, the postage and him and Dutch saying the postage is just outrageous mm -hmm. over there. It's like an arm and a leg, you know? Yep. And I hope I'm not insulting my uh, people over over the, across the way in England. Well, man. and they and it's it's so it's not just the fact that it costs like it would cost me more, and it's a lot more to ship okay, um, to United Kingdom. But then it also on top of that is a um, we got you got to pay for it. There's a Royal Mail fee. So when it gets delivered, it gets delivered to the Royal Mail Post Office. And um, you get like a piece of paper in your mail, is my understanding of it. You get a piece of paper in your mail that tells you, you have a package. And you owe X amount for a royal mail fee. So then you have to pay that fee um, in order to get your package. Is that why they get the free health care over there? So, I don't, it's not just over there. I mean, it's, but is I just, like I work, I've worked more closely with people in the United Kingdom than I have. Okay, have you, have you shipped to Indonesia? Country. No. Have you shipped to Australia? Yes. What about the Kiwis, New Zealand? Yes. Can you call them Kiwis without getting in trouble? I don't know. I've never heard of that term, so the ki you probably cannot. Uh, I probably could, but you probably not. Uh, probably not. So, but that's just... There's a podcast I listen to called Case File True Crime, mm -hmm. and I always hate when he does Americans... Yeah. Like, I, know, I always like when he does the Australian ones because it kind of gives you something to worry about, you know, to listen. Uh-huh. And then they start saying stuff like diapers, or, like nappies or diapers and lollies or lollipops. Mm, and, yeah. yeah. So, okay. So, we've got the water wash. Yes. We also have the scrub. Yes. And the scent water. Yes. So, it's a very nice clean scent. Then we also have the scrub and the honey lavender. So these are all new items. And, they're gonna, they're and this gonna, smells absolutely divine. I'm going to tell you guys, this is a good time to start buying that because all the heavy stuff you bought, mm -hmm. it's going to start, you know, certain people up north, it don't get, it don't get spring to like the middle of May, but those people not there, you know, mm -hmm. it's just going to give you a chance. It's a lighter smell on you. Yeah. So we also have a new one from Victoria's Secret and it is, it's bare vanilla, but it's, Soul S O L. So it's a new version of Bear Vanilla. Yes. And it has sunshine, um, vanilla zest, a sunny spin on Bear Vanilla. So there's that. That's a new one. We also have Love Spell Soul S O L. And that has lemon blossom. Sparkling Neroli, a sunny spin on Love Spell. So these are brand new uh, in the stores. They're, they've all been posted online. So, and we also have the pair G-L-A-C-E, but the E has a little funny thing on top of the E. Kind of like the thing for Motorhead. Okay. Band. I don't know. Yeah, you're probably not a Motorhead fan. No. It's not some guy with painted on cowboy je jeans and a opened up shirt and a hat on. No, we don't like that. We we got turned off at the opened up shirt and the hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we, we didn't like it's that anymore. It's got to be somebody else, man. You know, okay. not him. Yeah. You know, you know I, I, I... I've never have really cared for cowboy hats, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's got to be the right person wearing it. And they very rarely do they wear cowboy hats anymore. It's, um, you know, just ball caps, which I do prefer. I, then how are you a cowboy singer? Well, you can be a country singer and not wear a cowboy hat. Thank yeah, God. It doesn't look right, man. So, oh, it does not look right with the hat. No, people cannot p pull off these stupid hats. So... All right, so we we have the pear, and however you choose to say pear, but you know. 
I remember one time I had this girlfriend and she had a jacket. Mm-hmm. She said, it's going to be worth something. I didn't know she thought it was going to be worth something and I wore it to work. Uh-huh. It was a Marlboro Miles jacket. She swore it was going to be worth something someday. And I was oh, like, you know. All right, so let me grab the other stuff we got here. I remember people used to buy Marlboro Miles. Mm-hmm. Like, why do you buy something and stuff you... You smoke 100,000 packs and you can get a bicycle. I'm like... I gonna be able to ride that bicycle, are you? And then I went home. My dad said, "I got a Marlboro jacket." Huh? Uh huh. Okay. Oops. Don't break your stuff, man. You gotta sell it. Don't break it. Mm-hmm. All right. So in the body cream, we also have the plain love spell, you know, the original. Yeah. So, which in case you have forgotten what's in it, is cherry blossom, fresh peach, and it's impossible to resist. So don't resist it. Just go to Simple Treasures for sale and buy it. Boy, yeah, that makes me want to go buy something from you. What? I said don't resist it. Just go buy it. <laughs> I don't see where that was offensive. <laughs> All right, so we also have Bear Vanilla, the regular, the original, the OG. The original gangster. And it's whipped vanilla, soft cashmere. It's skin to skin. <laughs> so there's that. Is that kind of like that TV show, Heart to Heart? It could be. That guy, they had a butler. So, what would you prefer, a maid or a butler? Um, probably a butler. Would you want one like the Mr. Melvedere butler, or would you want like a, yeah? No, it would be one of my own design. Oh, yeah. Would he have a tongue like Gene Simmons? Okay, let's, okay, let's see. We're too far. Okay, okay. All right, so, we also have perfumes available. Mm. At simpletreasuresforsale.com. Discount code is LUCKY. I'm going to remind you of that every now and then. L-U-C-K-Y, all cap letters. Mm-hmm. It has to be over $25. $24.99, you got to pay the shipping. Mm-hmm. I can't give you the penny, sorry. So, um, so we have, ooh, so sexy. Your favorite. Mm-hmm. It's bergamot. Paradise Apple and Whipped Cream. So these are originally sixty dollars. Um, I'll give them to you for thirty bucks. Exactly. So at Simple Treasures for Sale. If you're in the United States and you put Lucky and you buy one, that's free shipping. Exactly. And it'll be put in the mail first thing in the morning. So we also have Victoria's Secret Tees Dreamer, which is actually one that I like. It has bronze coconut, ocean salt. And California Sun. And yes, Lorraine should not wear mustard pants. Yes. I don't know how they bottled California Sun. But, but they did, man. But they did. And, and there it know, is. We should ask our friends Jackie mm-hmm. and Chelsea out there that in the California, man, what's that California Sun about? We'll get mm-hmm. the NoCal Sun and the SoCal Sun. We'll see which one's better. Mm-hmm. You know, because Jack's in NoCal and, and yeah. uh, Chelsea's in SoCal. Yeah. If you hear something, it's fine. What's that? If you hear something outside, it's fine. Oh, is it what I think it is? Mm-hmm. So, um, we also have Bombshell Paris. Bombshell Paris. Mm-hmm. I was wanting to know, getting back to that one, do you think the NoCal Sun or the SoCal Sun is better? I have absolutely no idea. Would you rather go to NoCal or SoCal? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, probably SoCal. Yeah, I'd like to go there. The, I'd like to go down there if I got my vision back to do the Baja mm-hmm. and ride dirt bikes and stuff. Yeah. Um. So we've got in the Bombshell Paris. Yeah. We have French Cypress, Night Blooming Jasmine, and White Cedarwood. Do we have any perishable items? No. 
Um, we also have Bombshell Ode. O U D. Which has Pink Saffron, Suede Penny, and Ode. So there you go. So there are all the perfumes. They're thirty dollars. All all domestic orders with the code word Lucky it buys one free shipping. That is correct. As you're over the moon, you're over the moon. Mm-hmm. That is yes. all of that is correct. What about Vegas? Would you like to go to Vegas? You know, I almost went to Vegas for I a almost, work trip. But no, 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 not work trip. One time. You just like to go to Vegas just to go to Vegas. Well, I was planning all sorts of things that I was going to do while I was at Vegas, but I was a little afraid to go to Vegas. Are you afraid you'd leave in a barrel? With no, your I was. On it? I was afraid I would never. I wouldn't sleep the whole week I was there. I almost went. You know, I you know I almost went to work in Reno, Nevada. Because you know, that would be something that I would do. Would you go see the Cirque du Soleil? Mm, no. They seem happy. Well, that's good. Or are they stackers or they just throw it? In? I don't know. They're still doing it. So, I like the Sam's people because they stack it up. Well, that's... It's boom, boom, boom. That's who it is. Oh, those guys are awesome. So... And if you're in the greater Clarksville area, you have one in your town, I would certainly mm-hmm. suggest go to Bahama Bucks. Yes. We don't... We're not getting paid by them, but they sure do make you happy. Mm-hmm. And I was a vampire and I was like... Mm-hmm. Yes, yours was very red. But, so, okay, so there's the perfumes. We got four perfumes. Yes. $30 a piece. $30. Make you holla. Mm-hmm. We've got these new items. Bare Vanilla Soul. Yes. Love Spell Soul. <laughs> yes. We have the original Bare Vanilla. Yes. And we have Pear... Um, glaze, glaze, something like that. Have you ever been to Florida? No, I have not. I had a chance once, but I didn't go. But I heard it's pretty nice down there. And we also have the original Love Spell and Body Cream. The person that's been to Florida asks us about Florida. Have you been to Florida? Uh, somebody says, I've had the Oreo and Unicorn one snow clo- cones from there. It's so good. Uh, you're absolutely right. You will not be ever here talk bad about Bahama Bucks. Oreo. That sounds like right up your alley. No, I'm not an Oreo guy. You know, I'm very disappointed in Lorraine and Wendy for not really studying the studying the uh, Dairy Queen menu board at the drive thru Because I really wanted the confetti, the hey, vanilla confetti. I was just a passenger. Then you try to say something, Lorraine just rudely cut you off. And I was like, mm-hmm. what are you saying, you know? Mm-hmm. I wanted an ice cream cone. It was a lot more easier than a blizzard. Then she got us out. Of, then she dropped us off and said, get out. I don't want to hang out with you anymore. You're horrible people and left us. Well, she wouldn't be wrong there. No, not at all. No. I don't know how she puts up with us, actually. Especially. She's, not, she's not looking for domination, just sunshine and roses. When she has to be a referee. Um, Let's see here. I think she should have her own show like Judge Judy. Oh, that is true. Y'all hug and kiss and make up. Isn't that nice? Yes. Your dog was a right. mean, mean dog. So who's going to be the first one to buy something? How about the first person that per- makes a purchase tonight gets a free gift? And that would be an autographed picture of Lizzie with Santa Claus. No. That'd be better than that. Oh, what? Like so Nobody not- wants that. <laughs> Don't you be insulting on here to my friend. Uh, I haven't watched. Uh, Wendy, I haven't watched in a while. Any updates on your life? Um, well, depends on, depends on where you left off. <laughs> uh, next question. So. Life is going. Next question. Mm-hmm. So. Let's see. Um, 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 um. Oh, well, 
know. Nobody's saying much of anything, which I'm not totally upset with. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we need people to buy, you know? I'm not going to lie. I'd love a pick of Lizzie on my fridge. Well, make a purchase, and I will be more than happy to provide you with one. And if not, just just uh, DM us your address, and we will send you one. Oh. Yeah. Because she is adorable. Yeah, I was, walking in the, I was walking in the park the other day, and this lady walked up. She had a little baby holding it, and she goes, is that a collie? No. And I didn't take your question as being rude. I, I just don't know where you left off in life. No. No. <laughs> no. And then I walked into the mall. I walked into the park Sunday, man. Mm-hmm. And these people were on these hoverboards. And they, oh, we're sorry, we're in your west. And, no, no, I'm trying to explain what it is. And he says, you don't need one. You'll hurt yourself. And I'm like, oh, right. Yes, he was going to try and get on a hoverboard. Well, those people were pretty cool. They started talking in their native tongue, and all I could hear was ice cream. I think Dan got Lorraine yes. one here. She'd have gotten in a car with them. Ooh, ice cream gotta go. Mm-hmm. You are? I'm Lorraine, your new friend. Oh, uh, okay. How many dogs have you had in life? Um, one, okay, two, you wasn't around for Heidi, three, was you? Four. Yeah, it was. Four, five. Six. All girls and one boy. Yes. And Cricket was a smoker and Grandma got mad and gave him a butt busting. Yes. Um, any orange scents? Ooh, I think we do, don't we? No, actually, we, we sold the orange. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, nope, I don't have anything that's specifically orange. You know, we all know I do love the orange spritz. <coughs> Tanya in Arkansas, your order was shipped mm-hmm. out Tuesday. It might be there today. The dog smoked. Um, he liked to pick up cigarette butts. And he would look and you'd find him with a cigarette butt hanging out of his mouth. We were not fans of that. We wasn't very pleased. <laughs> Neither was Grandma. She had a little stern talking to him. Mm-hmm. Don't you do that no more. But Lizzie yes. hates smokers. Yes, Lizzie does not like smokers. Lizzie can't have peanut butter. I had a peanut butter sandwich. She's like, hey, what about me? I said, nope, can't have it. My dog did that, and, and my dad took a picture of it. Yeah. Yeah, but dog smoking aren't cool. Lizzie's anti-smokers, anti-alcohol, and she don't like coffee, and she doesn't like soda. She's pure water girl. Yeah. What about milk? Mm. She's indifferent, I think. Did the laser hair removal work on you? In in spots, it has. In other spots, we're still a work on progress. Yeah. That's kind of a touchy subject right now, guys, but we appreciate the question. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just going to tell you, when you get laser hair removal, make sure that you do your due diligence. My mom's collie used to steal her coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I gave Lizzie coffee once. She said, that's enough. Yeah, Lizzie doesn't, doesn't care for coffee. She says, nope. Mm-mm. I gave her a drink of my coffee. She was like, Yep. Oh. I'm wanting to try laser. I'm still debating on it. Well, laser, I'm not having a bad experience. Is This is the problem. Is that I'm having so many parts of my body lasered that the more you have lasered, the longer the appointments take and the harder it is for you to get in. And, s- and their hours are very short. They're like from 10 to like six and the last appointment can be at five well when you work every day from 8 30 to 5 that doesn't work out so you're only stuck with saturday and the appointment slots for me are supposed to be an hour and a half long and uh so it's it's just really hard to book a saturday appointment for an hour and a half and to be honest i think if you do it i think you Mm -hmm. just focus on one part of the time don't go for all of it Yes. If you're going to get your face done, just work on your face. And yeah. then after your face, 
you know, and make sure that you go to a place that, uh, how do you say this? I don't know. It has their poo poo together. Yeah. Yeah. I just, um, yeah, I would agree with that. Just work on one thing at a time. And find somebody that knows mm-hmm. what they're doing and you like and knows how, knows how it's going to work with you. Yeah. Because these people, I'm going to be honest. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying this is right here. They haven't done their due diligence. They can't. Yeah. They can't retain staff. Yes. And That's... then they get mad at you because you're like, hey, I'm not the one who can't retain my staff. Yeah. And then they don't do anything and they and then they mm-hmm. you, you confront them and then they get all defensive and it's like, yeah. I'm paying your salary. You're not paying mine. So, um, does it remove your hair for good after the treatment? Yes, it's supposed to. And you're supposed to, it's a, it's supposed to remove it. Um, and then every now and then I think you're supposed to go in for touch-ups and it's like free touch-ups for life or something like that. What if you get that and then like you get it all done and you die a week later, boy, bitch, you'd be mad as hell. Well, we're not shooting for that. No, no, <laughs> But you know. Lizzie but, says yeah. hey, laser hair removal, not for me. But, um, no, it's just, I think the biggest challenge is the fact that when I went in, they sold me all of these parts of my body in one combo thing. And then all I've heard since is, well, your appointments are an hour and a half long and it's really hard to find a spot that's an hour and a half long. Well, it's like this. I think when they sold it to you, they should have started in parts. They should have started here. Then they got that done, and they mm-hmm. should have went to another part. And I, I would think, agree with that. You know, but I think you, sometimes you got to, how do you say this? You have to take stuff in small increments mm-hmm. and work your way up. Yes. You just can't go for the gusto. That's why you yes. have a lead-off hitter. You have a second man, a third man, a cleanup hitter. And the, um, like I said, the, the Saturday appointment slots <laughs> are hard to get. <laughs> and when I started, I was in Peoria, Illinois. And I was having a hard, I was struggling getting the appointments on time there because of the length of the appointment. Then I came to Tennessee and I went to, what was it, Murfreesboro. It's 7.02 p.m. And they were having a hard time get me It's just kind of like. Fitted in. So now, and then I was having a hard time getting into Clarksville. And now that we're in, I've booked the appointments ahead and I keep them rolling. And they don't particularly like the fact that I keep them rolling two, three appointments ahead. But... I like to stop. But that's okay. Um, they can just not be happy about it. I like to stop. Uh, let's see here. Can you... Can you not do that now? Just focus on one area each time. You can, but the appointments are like every, you go every four weeks or five weeks. Either four or five weeks is when your appointments are spaced out. And um, so like if this week I just did my face and next week I did... My I legs. Think, I think if you've done your, I think it should be like you do your face till it gets done. Yeah. Then you do your legs till it gets done. Then you do your uh, yeah. Brazilian till it gets done. Yeah. If you did it like that, you know, because yes. I think the thing for you is the face. If they just got the mm-hmm. face and that was done and it, yeah. you were silky smooth, I think you'd think it was money well spent. Yes. The legs and everything is just icing on the cake. Yeah. You know, because most women, they don't want that at all. Yeah. And they're, and they're really wanting, to um sell you a package uh let's see what's up wendy hope you're doing well hey amy good to see you who's amy somebody i know Mm -hmm. um but uh but yes it is a nationwide chain which can work to your advantage or in our case a detriment yes Yes. I think they got to start at one. I think if you start at one and you get the results you want, mm-hmm. you're, even if you don't get the results, if you get the results yeah. on your face for a woman, I think anything else you can give two shits about mm-hmm. if you've had that whole issue your whole life. Yes. Because most women do. But also, like, um, my legs are taking to it better than my face. 
Then you start wearing short skirts to so, short skirts to work. Maybe you'll get promoted. Sure, I doubt it, but yes. Get your feet done. Wear your flippies and your short skirts and see. If you can... Oh, those aren't cute from what you told me. Yeah. Oh, they're yucky looking. Mm-hmm. But um, you know. Uh, don't I find it painful? Not really. It it really literally is like a rubber band snapping you. I mean, it 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 it. I don't find it where it hurts that much. I mean, there, some people I think it really really bothers and it really really hurts. I I don't have it that way, which I guess I'm fortunate in that regard. But yeah. All depends on the person and what they're looking for, mm -hmm. you know. Everybody's looking for something. Whether we get it or not, it's a different story. Yep. You know, we all... Like mm -hmm. I say, man, I could never pay money to see Van Hagar. Mm -hmm. I gotta see Van Halen. I like Wolfgang Van Halen, but I gotta have Michael Anthony on bass. Right. You know? So... And Diamond Dave's the best front man of all time. Oh, I couldn't do it on my face. Hurt too badly for me. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I just that's not my experience. Um, the only thing that I don't like is that when when I first started, they had a machine that it it had. Um, uh, I can't think of what it's called, but it gave like cold blasts of air. Um, you know, they like zapped you, and then they. Um, hit you with that with that cold blast. This new machine that they have has a constant fan that goes, and when it gets up to my face, it's like they're suffocating me with air. I, I don't like that. Uh, I've seen a laser removal device on the TikTok shop. I wonder if you could use that in between sessions, just like an extra boost. You probably could. I'm not sure. Yeah, I am actually, there's very few things that I actually try and follow the program on, and this is one of the few things that I am trying to actually follow the program. Usually I make up my own program as I go, but I'm actually trying to do what they say. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Besides the zapping, guys, let's go there and buy some mm -hmm. stuff. Now, we've got stuff. we got perfumes. we got this. we got mm -hmm. that. There's not going to be no Saturday show. Yes, that is true. We will not be live on Saturday. Um, we are, Lorraine and I are taking a trip. We're taking a trip to the Swingers Club without me. Mm, no. We're down. But uh, we're taking a little bit of a fun trip. Lorraine's going in her Catwoman suit and Wendy's going to be Wonder Woman. So, hey, um, no trouble, baby. John and Lizzie will be... Man in the house. Yes. Lizzie will be running it going. Mm -hmm. So yes, we will not be on Saturday, but we will be on Sunday. The two of us will be on Sunday, and I. Um, that, that, that might be a big if. Why? Sunday's an if. It's, it's Easter. Okay. I don't think anybody's gonna be on Easter anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just depends. <laughs> but uh. But um. Yeah. So. So anyway, um, but I and I do have additional things to post, yeah. so there will be some newness happening. Yes. I'm not there. Mm -hmm. But, but yes, we we will not be on Saturday. I will be getting waxed tomorrow. Yes, yes, he's he's going. Let everybody know. Yes, I do believe in getting waxed. Mm -hmm. To get himself waxed. Yes. The Brazilian, I tell you. Okay. <laughs> not. Anybody else come hold my hand? They're more than welcome to. Mm. But, um. And I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You're going to get all spiffied up. Yeah, because I got all my women coming over Saturday. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. They'll leave. Quick. <laughs> as long as I can give them the best 15 seconds of my life, I'm 
great. Yeah. I play Yankee Rose. They'll be running out going, oh. mm-hmm. wow. My goal in life, I told my goal, I have some goals in life, guys, if I get my vision back. Number right. one, I want to go into a convenience store dressed up as an aborigine with the, with the spear, and I want to give me a bottle of anything and a glazed donut to go, to go. I would be escorted by two cops out of the swingers club with just a towel on me and snake skin boots. Uh huh. I think that's pretty awesome. Number two, I want me and Lizzie to go to Sheltie Fest. Uh huh. If she just freaking like just talk to the paw, you know. Uh-oh. What else? I want to have Lorraine dress up in the cat suit. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. All right. So back. Back to reality. To what we were supposed to be doing to start with before we started talking about... Swingers clubs, t- cowboy boots, and zapping, and uh-huh. Lizzie at Shelty Fest. Uh, yeah. We've got products for sale. We've got perfume. It's 1.7 mm-hmm. fluid ounces. The Victoria's Secrets, normally fifty nine ninety five for those who want to be mm-hmm. anal retentive about it. We're going to give Oops. it to you for 30 bucks. If you use the code word LUCKY, you're in a domestic, you're in a domestic order. That's going to be free shipping. Okay, we've got some other Victoria stuff. Lotions, mist. Those are going to run you $10. You get three bottles of those, because we ain't got nothing for $5. So you get three bottles of those, man. That's going to get you free shipping. Uh-huh. You get your three shower gels from Bath & Body Works. That's going to get you free shipping. You know, we've got pocket backs, no wallflowers. You know? Oh. Okay. Now I'm determined to keep dropping these perfumes, I'm telling you. All right, so don't forget, we have Ooh So Sexy. We have Bombshell Oud. We have Bombshell Paris. Um, we have Tease Dreamer. And we don't have Velaments. What? Velaments. I don't know what that is. That was a sugar-free candy. I thought it'd be right up here. I think a sugar-free mint. No. Nor do we have Clorets. Okay. Did you like Big Red or Dent Team better? They're both cinnamon, aren't they? Yeah. I wasn't never not been a fan of either one. So what did you get for chewing gum? If you, you know, back in the days when you were a raging alcoholic, did you chew gum on the road or did you just really? Okay. With that. No. <laughs> was you more of a lollipop chick? Uh huh. Talks about getting sight, but is there a possibility that he can regain his vision? No. No. Sadly, but no. No. Um, where does he come up with this stuff? Who knows? <laughs> They're all true things. He sits around and thinks of it all day long. <laughs> My goal in life was to be a roadie for Van Halen, not Van Hagar. Mm hmm. Okay. Good to know. All right. So, for all you Love Spell fans, we have a new version. It is a brand new version. (laughs) It is Lemon Blossom Sparkling Neroli, a sunny spin on Love Spell. And it smells really good. Alexa, what time is it? It's 7.14 p.m. <clears throat> we have Bear Vanilla Soul. I got soul, but I ain't a soldier. So. Really? That was Lizzie. Mm-hmm. Shame on you, Lizzie. Oh. What? We got a sell? No. What? I just forgot. Here. What? Oh, sorry. What was that? <laughs> that was spray. <laughs> Or your bathroom that you're asking for. <laughs> Remember, guys, if you use this, use in moderation. That is true. This Don't spray it like the get like the dad from the movie Fridays. So, yes, yeah, those little concentrated ones. So, okay, funny story. He had a big can of spray, you know, like the Airwick or whatever spray, in his bathroom, and he's used. That's what he's used to. Well, I hand him. One of those little concentrated room sprays from Bath and Body Works. And I said, here, here's, you know, here's another one. And he takes it and sprays, and it's lavender vanilla. He sprays 
just like he would one of those big cans, sprays a ton of it, and then walks right into it. And you know, those are very strong. Mm. Did you not about gas yourself? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what was bad. Mm-hmm. What? Because those people that wear too much perfume. Uh-huh. And you got to roll down the windows. Uh-huh. Like, da, 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 da. Or turn on your fan in your bedroom, as you said you had to do yesterday. Well, I can't help my hookers come over. Oh, uh, yeah. And hey, they got to make a living. They're taxpayers, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, just remember... Do I have any of those room space for sale? No, I sold out of them, actually. Real estate agent come bought them all. Mm, She didn't buy them all, but she bought most of them. (coughs) I'm pretty sure I sold them. Let me double, let me verify that before. I really shouldn't speak before I verify. Okay. I take that back. I stand corrected. I do have three twisted peppermint. Three? Three. Three of them. One, two, three. Alexa, play David Lee Roth on iHeartRadio. To play music by David Lee Roth on this Echo, you need to upgrade your Alexa, Amazon stop. Music Unlimited Alexa, system. stop. Alexa, play David Lee Roth on iHeartRadio. David Lee Roth from iHeartRadio. So these are $4. So, and I have three of them. Alexa, next. Infinity presents a Alexa, new chapter in luxury. Play David Lee Roth on Spotify. What's the big obsession with? David Lee Roth Radio from Spotify. Hudson Yards and... <laughs> Alexa, stop. David Lee Roth's the best, man. Okay. He's a fan but. of ours, too, and a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Ding, 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 so, ding, 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 ding. we have three of these. <laughs> Twisted peppermint. Sorry, I misspoke more than once today. Yes. About the room spray. You know, it happens. So, no, we are out of candles. There are no candles. No. Sorry. No. Doesn't anybody want anything? Apparently not. They don't like us. Well. (sighs) No. I'm just a gigolo, everywhere I go, life goes on without me. Selling these romance. Mm-hmm. All right, well. Does anybody say anything worth talking about? Mm. I'm answering questions as we go. Mm. If anybody wants to go on that TikTok and give us that line, man, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that's not going to happen ever. <laughs> Somebody might be drunk one day with their money. Mm, I don't. If they are, I would have to return it. I couldn't take it. Why not? The only thing I ever ask is people go and enjoy my website and make a purchase. But if you had that lion, I do. do, 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 do mm-hmm. You could pay for your college. Stop. Yeah. Stop that. Everybody, <laughs> Wendy wants to go to school to become a cake designer. No, she does not. A come a day when when nobody, 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 nobody. Loop de loo, loop de loo. You know, if I ran this and could see, I'd mm-hmm. be doing it my way. It'd be me and Lizzie, and we'd be traveling the world trying to score that ultimate beauty deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, will you be live on Sunday? That's questionable. Question. I'm going to say yes. Well, there won't be no Lorraine. Do, 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 do. No, there will not be a Lorraine. Cake designing is fun. Yeah, no. 
those. And Lorraine, do not come up with a class for us. Sell? Yeah. Wow, this is just amazing. Should we flip over to TikTok just to get a sell? I don't think we will get one. Yeah, Guys, this is bad that. today, man. I'm... Well, it kind of makes me sad. <clears throat> classy. I'm a classy man. Mm -hmm. Classy. Remember, you was going to get classy lady tattooed mm -hmm. across your belly, but with ASS lady? <laughs> I just found a class on Joanne's. Who said that? Who do you think? Oh, that's who's on there. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> the one I said. No. Won't you open? You don't no. need to open your big mouth. <laughs> no. Because you're going to have to go and you're going to be like, ooh, wonderful. You know? And then you and Lorraine will... And you know what? Do they bake the cakes? Do you have to bake the cake before you decorate the cake? I don't know. Ask uh, Lorraine's sister-in-law. So when I, when I Lorraine, bring home I, a cake that is not edible... Hey, hey. And Lizzie won't eat... Lizzie would rather lick her own ass than eat the cake? Probably. <laughs> Trying to get the smell out of her mouth? Uh-huh. You know, Ron White, that might uh -oh. actually come for tuition, you know? You see Ron White all friggin'... <laughs> Hopped up on goofballs with long hair and a freaking bottle of booze going, did your dog really do that? So, oh, yes. no, you do not have to. I'm assuming that that is no, you do not have to make the cake. But uh, uh -huh. all you got to do is ask Lorraine to ask her niece-in-law, uh, not, not whip, to uh -huh. whisper. She'll tell you, she can make some cakes, man. She's pretty good. I like her homemade icing. Mm -hmm. If I was down there, she'd probably make all my birthday cakes and stuff. Mm-hmm. I just go see Whisper Teller John's worthless ass since y'all that blind bastard. Yeah. He owes me this. Here's the money, huh? He's nice now. It's all right. Let's uh, talk bad about him when he's not a rep. It's even better. <laughs> Guys. I want to go to a candle making class. <laughs> I think you ought to make candles like uh, like certain things and sell them, you know, and see if mm -hmm. women will buy them. Why do you always have to be perverted? I'm not a pervert. <laughs> Just saying. <coughs> Maybe a pottery class. <coughs> Alexa, what time is it? It's 7.23 p.m. You guys got seven minutes to get off. Go to the candle loft in Clarksville. Is it, Do they have candle making classes? Really, one day. What? Don't get her wrapped up and ready to go, man. She'll show up here on a Friday. We did it for a girl's day and it was fun. Yes, they have candle making classes. Oh, God. Yeah, that's what we you We, too, could be making candles. You, too, need to be down here at the friggin' buses that pull up with the people that, with the people so Lorraine can get her a man. Oh, uh, yeah. Behind Home Depot. Well, that... Well, I don't know, man. I'm... Well, see, if we go to behind Home Depot, Is we can just really... swing through Home Depot and find her a man an hour. <laughs> well, I'm telling you right now, man. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys a funny story if you ain't heard it. So we go into Lowe's to get something. You know, we come back, and there's this wow. gentleman. He served our country. He's an older man. He's a veteran. Mm -hmm. He's got his little camo vest on with his thing, you know. And It's in the morning, you know, and he's probably been up since God knows when, and... He sees Miss Lizzie, and he just falls in love. Let me give her a small piece. And Lizzie's like, really, Mom? You're a real freaking drag. Mm -hmm. And he's starting to talk to her, and they're going to become friends, you know. He's going to try to get Lizzie on the payroll at Home Depot. And this guy just walks up and says, I want to buy one of those wheelbarrows. And I almost thought that guy was going to have one of those Vietnam flashbacks, man, and friggin' uh... Yeah, he wanted to stand and talk to Lizzie. He did not care about the wheelbarrow. <laughs> and if that guy, he would have got on to that guy, I would just be like, I'd have had to save the vet's job because he served our country and we do support the yeah, troops so hard. Yeah, he was not happy about the wheelbarrow thing. Oh, he would have knocked that... If he could have friggin' had one of those Vietnam Cause. flashbacks on me, probably... He wanted to talk to Lizzie. But, I mean, who really doesn't want to talk to Lizzie? And when Lizzie up there working, mm -hmm. Lizzie be like, And oh. Lizzie was like, you got treats? I got the time. Mm -hmm. Willie Nelson wrote the song, You Got the Money, Honey, I Got mm -hmm. the Time. But, yes. Well, I thought that guy was going to... Somebody says she, they've heard that story many times. 
That's okay. I don't care. It's still funny. I seen that guy at the park. I was a Lizzie slept there and sit with him. Well, he got the... to when we went to get the um, what was it? Oh, the air filter, for the filter for the. You know, the thing told yeah. me I had to replace the thingy, and I went to go get the thingy. Yeah. He was the one that helped us. Oh, he was a really nice guy. Hey, there's perfume making classes, too. No. I draw the line of perfume. Some of that stuff smells like pure poo-poo. I bet you something, anything I could mix would probably smell like crap. <laughs> oh, God. I'll never forget. Okay, so when I worked for the hospital, there was this girl, and her name was Tiffy. Her name was Tiffany, but we called her Tiffy. And she made, she gave me a Christmas gift. So we exchanged Christmas gifts. And um, she tells me, you know, back in the back is my bag and this and that. And I should go get it. So I go back to the back and I get my bag. And I'm swinging the bag all the way through the kitchen and going. And, and I could smell something funky. Funky, funky. As I was coming through. And I'm like. They must have burned something, you know, making something that smells bad. And then I realized when I got to the cafeteria that the funky thing was in that bag that I was swinging around. She had made me homemade perfume. And it was God awful smelling. Did you pour it down your toilet? It was very nice. I think Mother did. Because I took it home just so Mother could appreciate how it smelled and uh well, that would be the last person i want to have that shit mo- around mother handled it but uh but yes it was very nice and very sweet that she wanted to make me something but yeah it was sometimes bad. it's it best really, that really you go bad. to the store and purchase something you know there's, really just, there's certain things like if your friend's like a real good cabinet maker mm-hmm. he makes you like like lorraine has a friend and her husband's a cabinet maker and they're like the nicest people Mm-hmm. I would accept some cabinets from him as a as a gift. Yeah. But if you're not a perfume maker by trade, it's like... Mm-hmm. Well, she was into being crafty. Not too crafty. But... Oh, man. Are we going to get one cell, guys? What, what are the scent notes on the Love Spell Spray? Oh, please hold. Let me see here. Lemon Blossom yeah. and Sparkling Neroli. A sunny spin on Love Spell. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 7.28 p.m. So, you want to you stay out here for a while? I'm going to stay out here for a few more minutes. I don't, there's one of these that just smells absolutely... Do- I think it's this. It's this that I keep coming back to. This, this really smells fabulous. I'm going to keep this for me. It really does. You know what? It's, it's, I've found fragrances that I like, but it's really been a while since I have just smelled something and instantly fell in love with it. Okay. So if you want it, you better buy it now before I steal it. <laughs> but it smells, it smells really, really good. The love spell soul. I got soul, but I'm not a soldier. Really? I wanted to say that. Okay. And remember, Lorraine could be your friend if the price is right. Mm Mm-hmm. That lady told me up there at that place she was a life coach. She never got back with us, so I guess she had to make your own life decisions. Well, I'll have that. Um, But we also have the original love spell and body cream. If you get the big size, I'll buy it all. What do you mean the big size? The big size of what? I'm confused. (coughs) Please expand. Elaborate and enlighten, please. (coughs) You got it? Call me food stamp, boy. Mm, Okay. Oh. Oh, hardcore rose. Oh, you want the 3.4 ouncer in the hardcore rose? Is that what you what you mean? Yes, Jennifer. Uh, really? What? Jeez. 
So rude. I don't know what he's doing. What's the code for shipping? It is lucky. L U C K Y and it's free shipping on $25. And we also have, now this one, Victoria's Secret, is one of the original scents. And this is the pear, and I've never been sure how to say it. G-L-A-C-E, and the E has a funny thing on above it. <laughs> so, okay, well, I'll see what I can do. Probably won't be before next week, though, on that. So, so this is a good one as well. And I think, I think on TikTok, maybe somebody requested it. But, so, and don't forget, we also have scrubs. This is a honey and lavender. So this is a good one. We've got the water scented wash. You know, it's a light oceany smell. A refreshing ocean powered wash. So there we go. And we have the water. Um, scrub as well so there we go and we have three of the twisted peppermint fragrance or room sprays does it have this scent of sea minerals i don't know Wash and fresh lathers sea minerals yes <laughs> it has sea minerals Do, 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 do. So we have three room sprays. We got a couple of scrubs. So we've got new mists. We have new perfumes. So what else I got over there? I got cucumber melon shower gel. That's an OG for Bath and Body Works. So, what are y'all looking for? What would you like? Because I'm always shopping. Shop, shop, shop. Shop, shop, shop till I drop, drop, drop. Just saying. Oh, I think somebody took pity on me. We got a sale. We got a sale. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jenna. From Fairmont, West Virginia. I do appreciate it. You ordered both of the scrubs. And the thing I was going to steal. Mm. Pink mist. Pink perfumes. Anything from pink. Well, we've got the water wash. That is from pink. Um, I've got a chai latte spray. That is from pink. You didn't like the Tropical Looza? Tropidelic, yes. Huh. That's uh, interesting. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so let me get this packed up here. I think John got bored. Okay. 
So evidently TikTok will only let me go live for an hour. So it ended it for me. Um, I came back. I was froze. So I closed out of that one and came and now I'm back again. So I'm just finishing up packing Jenna's order. So I hope Jenna has found her way back. And I appreciate her order very much. Um, I did put in a little something extra in your package, Jenna. Um, so I hope you like it. I appreciate you taking pity on me and placing an order. That is very much appreciated. So, and as promised, I added a free gift in there. So, so here is Jenna's order. So, no pity, I'm excited for the spray. Oh, I'm glad. It smells really good. But uh, like I said, I did add something in there special for you. Um, for being the first one to order tonight. So, anybody else want to place another order? So, I'll stay on here for a few more minutes. And if somebody places another order, I will throw in another free item. Just for the heck of it. So, but the free shipping code is lucky. It's free shipping on $25. It also, um, the website is simpletreasuresforsale.com. So can we squeeze out another order? And I'll include another freebie in it. So you'll get free shipping, a free item, plus whatever goodie you ordered. The free shipping's on $25. So. So I'm on Instagram once a week. Today is the day for Instagram day. Uh, normally we're on TikTok. But, so anyway, um, again, thank you, Jenna, for your order. Appreciate it. And like I said, I'll, for the next person who orders, I will put in another freebie. Uh, John wandered away. He got bored. With the no sales. So. He jump shipped. Oh, I guess I drank all my soda. When I get off here, I'm going to have me a um, Blackberry Crown drink. Just because I can. So, come on. Doesn't somebody want to place one more order? I'd like to tell him I got two orders while he when he left. So we do have bare vanilla soul. It smells luscious as well. And we have the original bare vanilla. So you could have either or, or you could have both. 
Some days you feel like the original. Some days you feel like something else. All depends on your mood. So, and we also have the pear. And we have the perfumes. So, never forget about the perfumes. So. But yes, if you if you make a purchase, um so the next person to make a purchase will get a freebie. And their package as well. Tell him I got orders after he left. So, do I have any good vanilla scents? I have bare vanilla good. Bare vanilla. And I have the new bare vanilla soul. Which is sunshine, vanilla zest. It is a sunny spin on bare vanilla. So, these are brand new. So, that's what I have good vanilla. So, also got the water wash. And the Love Spell Original Body Cream. So, so come on, come on. I want to show him up. Is that awful? But don't forget, we also have perfumes. Bare Vanilla shows sold out on the website. Well, please hold. Let me check that out. Because we can't have that. Um. Oops. Would help if I could type. Okay, so we've got Bare... Oh, well, there we go. See, so you guys just have to double check me sometimes. All right, so the Bare Vanilla is on the website now. So, and so is the Bare Vanilla Soul. So thank you very much for pointing that out. I have fixed that problem. Got another. All right. Bombshell Paris. Here we go. Let me get that. Let me grab a gift here. I'm not going to show you your gift. I want it to be a surprise. Just saying.
there's your package. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Yay. All right. Me a third order. That'll really burn his butt. It'll get him good. Two's already gonna get him. All right. Can he come on to do his signing off speech? Yeah, probably. If we ask him, he probably will, yes. <laughs> but do we want to... Does anybody want to want to do one more order before? Or is that too much? Before we call him in here to do his speech. Oh, I'm going to tell him about the orders. And yes, people are so much nicer on Instagram. That would be correct. All right, well, if that's it for the night, I'm going to call it a night um, and get my stuff off the porch. So, um, so I'm going to say yes, we will be on TikTok, or at least I will be on TikTok, or one or both of us will be on TikTok on Sunday. We will not be on um, Saturday, because Lorraine and I are doing a little day trip. We're going to go have some fun. So, y'all have a good night. I thank you very much for your orders. I really do appreciate it. Now, you can still order um, after I close down the live. Uh, if you do, be more than happy, um, or will be, I'll pack it before I take the packages in the morning. So, it'll be mailed off. Um, you know, as quick as possible. So, but y'all have a good night and we'll probably see you on Sunday.